What's up, Truth Seeker? Sean here with TruthFed.com. And today I just kind of wanted to talk to you about this spirit of darkness, uh, this spirit of wickedness that we just see moving over the United States. I mean, some of the things taking place in this country, some of the just heinous crimes that are taking place uh, are just out of this world. Um, you know, aside from just, you know, some of the things that we're seeing, I mean, we're seeing more and more violence, more and more disdain for life, um, hatred for one another. Uh, I mean, people flat out coming out and admitting that they're doing these crimes uh, in order to sell their soul to the devil. We have Hollywood stars performing uh, satanic style rituals uh, on stage. And I just want to want to bring some of this to light and just kind of show you some of this. And this is all stuff that just happened recently. OK, this doesn't go back very far. Most of the information I'm getting ready to share with you is just from the last week or so. And it just scratches the surface, but the point is to just kind of show you that it's beyond, you know, people making bad choices or people uh, being selfish or getting angry and killing. I mean, these are violent, uh, filthy, uh, demonic type crimes. And a lot of them even give tribute that they're doing it uh, in order to sell their soul to Satan. Um, speaking of which, we, uh, we're seeing these satanic temples going up uh, all over the United States of America. Uh, this uh, report here shows a satanic, a satanic temple uh, that's being uh, displayed in the Florida State Capitol building uh, of a fallen angel falling into hell. And it says, you know, it says happy holidays, happy holidays from the satanic, uh, <laughs> satanic temple. The satanic temple is claiming a religious victory after winning the right to erect a fallen angel holiday display in Miami. And now wants to put the same statue right next to the Oklahoma State Capitol, right next to the tin commandments uh speaking of the ten commandments we had uh, that guy who recently ran into the ten commandments with his car got out urinated on it uh fought with the cops and he told the police that you know he you know satan was telling him to do it um i mean we in our schools we're teaching 11 year olds uh and even younger than that uh giving them tips on how to masturbate how to use internet pornography uh, giving them alternative sex, telling them they can bathe together in the shower and teaching anal. I mean, this anal sex, this stuff is happening in some of our schools, folks. And some of our, you know, there's this, this is a contra this particular article says sex ed conference touts alternatives, bathe, shave, and role play together. This is going out to 11 year olds. Controversy is surrounding a sex education conference in Oregon uh, as the event hosted students as young as 11 years old. I've seen reports of this stuff happening and I've shared them uh, on videos here on this channel. You're, you should be already aware of them if you've been following for very long. Uh, but I just want to share a couple of these crimes uh, just from recent. And I'm going to warn you that some of these are pretty terrible. And uh, so if you have a weak stomach, uh, these are graphic. Uh, they're very sexually intense. Uh, so just warning you ahead of time before we get into it. This first one is these couples pose for selfies in a car that they stole from a pastor uh, after shooting him dead on the side of the road. So th these guys right here, they shoot a pastor dead on the side of the road, steal his car, and take a minute to pose and take some selfies. I mean, they're, they're excited about what they've done. They kill a man, a beloved pastor, the article says, uh, and then steal his car and take some photos, take some selfies and upload it. Now you tell me that that's not just pure wickedness and evil. And it gets worse. We have a guy here. He murders this young lady, this 30 year old mother of four, and then takes photos of her naked corpse and uploads them to the internet. Uh, grossly photos uploaded, up, Loaded yesterday to 4chan, show the body of a murder victor, victim, a Amber Lynn, a 30-year-old mother of four who was found dead in her Port Orchard, Washington home on Tuesday. The anonymous poster wrote, Turns out it's way harder to strangle someone to death than it looks like on the movies. And then he, and, he's, and then he, you know, he, so that's the caption, and he uploads photos of her naked body to the internet. And then it gets worse. Uh, recently, there was these teens t who gouged out a girl's eyes who was begging for her life, violently raped her, carved uh, demonic symbols into her body, and bid to sell their soul to the devil. So this poor girl right here. The article says a teenager who killed a girl in a satanic ritual gouged out her eyes as she begged for her life. A court has heard. Jose Reyes from Houston Texas is on trial for capital murder over the killing of a 15-year-old Corian, uh, Corian Curvance, uh, allegedly as part of a satanic ritual which involved mutilating her body. 
Reyes, 18, and a 16-year-old accomplice who faces capital murder charges as a minor are said to have lured her into an empty flat where they raped her before beating her to death. She was found half-naked with her clothes torn. Her body shown signs that she had been violently raped and there was an upside-down cross carved into her flesh. Uh, and then you can see here, not even upset about it, thinks it's funny. Uh, deal with the devil. Prosecutors say the two boys were hoping to make a deal with the devil when they disfigured the girl's body, including carving an upside-down crucifix on her stomach. So this poor girl is lured into an area where she's violently beat, violently raped, has her eyes gouged out, and then has demonic symbols carved into her body. Now you tell me that's not a spirit of darkness. Tell me that that's not itself demonic right there. And then I saw this article yesterday. And it about made me sick. A man videotaped himself having sex with his stepdaughter's corpse. The man accused of killing his stepdaughter, Jessica Paget, videotaped himself having sex with her corpse. He said the video confirmed that Gregory R. Graff told investigators on the day that he was charged with the homicide last month that he wanted to have sex with Paget and that he did so after she was dead. Morganelli said he had concluded Graff killed Paget in order to have sex with her body. So this sick, demonic being wants to have sex with his stepdaughter. So the way he does it is he murders her and then has sex with her dead corpse. Folks, there is a spirit of wickedness and darkness, and I'm just scratching the surface. This doesn't even touch some of the insane things taking place in our country every day. Uh, people are getting their heads chopped off. You're not seeing a lot of that in the news. People are tying ropes to themselves, tying it to fire hydrants, getting in their car, taking off and decapitating themselves. People are literally claiming that they're doing these things in the name of Satan. And I don't know how else to say that there's this spirit of darkness and wickedness that's coming over this country, but not just this country, around the whole world. The things that we see taking place in the Middle East uh, that's happening, this, to the, to, especially to these Christian people uh, from ISIS, they're being beheaded, their children are being sawed in half, uh, worse and worse, worse, things way worse than what I just described here are taking place. Women are being forced into sex slavery. We actually have massive sex slavery and sex trade taking place in this country here in the United States. One of the biggest sex trade events in the world takes place during the Super Bowl here in America. We murder 3,000 babies per day. I don't know how else to say that there's a, wick, there's a spirit of wickedness and darkness upon this country. We need to pray. We need to repent. And we need to be aware that these things are going on. So many people just go about their lives and they don't even care about this stuff. They act like this isn't happening. And it is. And we should be aware about it. And we should be speaking out against it. I'm Sean with TruthFed.com. As always, doing the best I can to feed you the truth.